Now with the Hearn Hunter AI script, they will come up the stairs. Random Hunter Waves. Now this new script will add actions to your action menu and each action is a wave of enemies that you can spawn. You have an entry of three AI that you can spawn, which will spawn randomly at a marker that you place. And then you have an entry of six AI that you can spawn. And each wave that you spawn will spawn at the markers that you set in the editor. Now when you kill enemies, the script has a function in it where the AI will slowly sink into the ground and then their bodies will be deleted along with their weapon. So it will save on performance. Now there's another part of this script that works with Hearn Hunter AI script. With this script, basically commands the AI to track and hunt you. That's what it's for. So in some of these situations, I was getting surrounded because they were trying to seek my position. They're constantly looking for you. They know where you're at exactly, but unless you shoot and give them like a direct indication of where you're at, they won't know technically where you're at, but they will go roughly to your position. Hunter AI script, they will come up the stairs. <laughs> For the script installation, just go to the Snail tab at the top and then down to open Snail folder. When you get the zip file, all you have to do is take the files that are in it and put them into your mission folder just like I did here. Once we open up the script, at the top is a how-to section and it'll tell you how to basically set up the script with the markers. All you need to do for the script is to place markers of your choice and give each marker a variable name. The variable name doesn't need to be mark1, it could be whatever you want it to be. And if you only place one marker, then all the waves will spawn at that one marker. But if you have multiple markers placed, then you'll have randomization of all the waves amongst the markers. In the script itself, you need to go to the markers array and define the markers that you're going to use. Here I have mark 1 through 5. All you need to do is just change those names to your marker names and add any more if you need to. And just make sure that the marker names have quotes before and after and a comma after but not at the end. Wave arrays, then the wave of three soldiers array, wave of six array, wave of nine array, and a wave of twelve array, and then a custom amount array. Here I'm going to show you how to log class names and put them in this array. <coughs> Logging class names. For this we put down the units or the squad that we want to spawn and in our case it's independent. We're going to set up first wave which is three units. We're gonna highlight them all, right click one of them, and then go down to where it says log and then go to log classes to clipboard. When that disappears you've logged your class names. Defining the class names. Now you paste the class names that we logged and before each class name you put a quote and after each class name you put a quote and then you put a comma 
and no comma at the end. Now if you're missing any commas or quotes, you're going to get an error. Wave array customization. Each array, the 3, the 6, the 9, the 12, all these can be changed to what you want. All you have to do is define the number and the name and the number of class names you want to use. Changing the faction side. For the faction side, go down to the bottom here and look for this particular code. What you need to do is change it to West for Blue 4, change it to East for 04, and change it to Resistance for Independent. And just change this here. Delete dead body timer. Now this is 10 seconds. You can change this number to a higher number or a lower number if you want. Player action menu entries. At the top of these, each entry can be customized. You you can have a specific title and each entry has a hint at the bottom. Stop it. 